Good morning and welcome to First Memorial. Please join us in our sung approach to worshiping our God. Verse 2 of Watchmen Tell Us of the Night. If you'd like to look in your hymnals to follow along for the music, that's on page 20. Page 20, just verse 2 of Watchmen Tell Us of the Night. <laughs> And now please join me in the opening words. The promised one of God brings good news to the oppressed and, bl and binds up the brokenhearted. The promised one of God proclaims liberty to captives and release to the prisoners. The promised one of God comforts all who mourn and gives a mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. Today we play the third hymn of our Arbiter's Candles, the Candle of Joy. When Mary When Mary, the mother of our Lord, visited her kinswoman Elizabeth, Elizabeth's unborn son John leaped for joy at the sound of Mary's greeting. Elizabeth was filled with joy knowing that the promised Messiah would soon be born. We too rejoice as we prepare to celebrate our Savior's birth. The prophet Isaiah foretold a highway the way of holiness, a place where the redeemed could walk. 
Following that holy way, we, the redeemed, would live in the presence of God and know everlasting joy. Jesus is the way, the truth, truth and the life. Good morning, saints. In the midst of our joy, we are called to repent and acknowledge our need for a Savior. Let us, therefore, confess our sins to God and ask his forgiveness. Let us pray as with one voice. Almighty God, God sent his son, the Prince of Peace, to be our savior. Jesus shed his precious innocent blood, suffering the penalty of death that we deserved for our sins. I am glad to be able to announce to you that your sins are forgiven in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our opening hymn today is number two, Come, Thou Long Expected Jesus, number two.
Let us say what we believe together using the modern words of the historic Apostles' Creed as printed in the bulletin. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill my promise. I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness. The peace of Christ be with you all. Without moving from where you now stand, please take the next few moments to share a warm greeting and a sincere sign of God's peace with those around you. Thank you. Please be seated. We're a little bit more squished today because we have all our costumes on for the pageant, right guys? Yeah. yeah. All right, so what time of year is this in the church? What do we call this? Christmas time. And what candles do we light every Sunday? Do you remember what they're called? Uh, those are the names of them, yes. I'll give you a hint. It says it right there. What is the name? Advent. Advent, yes. Advent. Advent is the time where we count down till Christmas, right? Yeah. So do you, any of you have Advent calendars at home? Yeah. yeah. Maybe with chocolate inside of them? I yeah. Have, I have a Lego I one. Have you have a Lego one? Nice. I have a Lego one and a chocolate. Oh, yeah. wow. All right. So what candles on the Advent wreath have we lit so far? What was the first Hope. week? Hope. Very good. Joy. joy. What was, when was joy? Today. Today. Very good. What was last week? Do you remember? Uh, not happiness. Do you remember, Aiden? Hope was the first week. Last week, we peace. Very good. And then today is joy. So I'm going to know, what brings you guys joy? What's, what does joy mean? First, what does joy mean? Do you know what joy means? Abby, what does joy mean? To be very happy. Very happy. So what makes you guys happy? What are some things? Morgan. Jesus. Oh, that's such a Sunday school answer, but I love it. What else? <laughs> what else makes you happy? Sebastian, what makes you happy? Uh, being with my friends. Being with your friends. Awesome. Um, having a lot of fun times. Ah, playing games, having fun, right? Abby, what makes you happy? God. God, another Sunday school answer. I love it. Your phone. That's a kid answer. I love it. <laughs> Aria, what makes you happy? Playing with your toys? No? What makes you happy? Oh, playing with your sister. Well, that makes me happy that you say that. <laughs> All right. So, when we're, what do you think brings God joy? What do you think brings him joy? Seeing us happy. Very good, Morgan. Being at peace, very good. Sebastian? Um, him, him knowing that we're saved. 
knowing we're safe, right? Kayla, do you have an answer? Um, okay, that's good. What about you, Morgan? Um, that we believe in him. That we believe in him. Very good. So, Aaliyah, what do you say? What makes God happy? When we're kind to each other? Yeah. So, do you think he's happy right now? Yes. Yes, because what are we about to do? A thing about God. A thing about God. Yes, a thing about God. Yes, what are we about to do? Represent him. We are about to do the Christmas pageant, right? Yes. And we are going to be angels, and we are going to be shepherds, and Mary, and Joseph, and sheep, and cows, right? Awesome. And how do you think we could make God even more happy? By adding pockets. How about by asking the congregation to help us do the Christmas pageant, right? You think that's going to make him even more happy? All right. So let's pray about joy. Dear Lord, thank you. We hope that today watching us represent you and the birth of your son brings you joy. Amen. Today's scripture lesson comes from the Gospel according to John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4 and 9 through 13. This is coming from our our Bible that we use in Sunday school, so it might be a little bit different. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In the beginning, the Word was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through him. Nothing that has been made was made without him. Life was in him, and that life was the light for all the people. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. The word was in the world that was made through him, but the world did not recognize him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. Some people did not accept, did accept him. They believed in his name. They gave, he gave them the right to become children of God. To be a child of God has nothing to do with human parents. Children of God are not born because of of human choice or because a husband wants them to be born. They are born because of what God does. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now it is pageant time. This pageant is going to be a little bit different this year. We'd like the congregation to participate. We did one like this a couple years ago. Um, The parts are Mary... Joseph, 
animals, angels, shepherds, and wise men. So we can have as many of any character as we want. So if anybody feels that they would like to be Mary, please come forward and we have little babies wrapped in swaddling clothes for you to come up and stand up here at the crash. Um, so Mary has babies wrapped in swaddling clothes. Joseph, there, since he was um, a carpenter, there's hammers, screwdrivers, and a measuring tape up here. Uh, animals, we have fun headpieces. You saw some of the, uh, Morgan and Kieran have the headpieces on. And angels have halos and wings, shepherds have crooks, and wise men have crowns. So whenever you feel like you want to be a certain character, please come up, get your prop, and stand up here. Um, let's see. So I'll announce the song that we're going to sing, and then the characters are going to come forward. Just The kids will come down first, and then you guys can follow. And then in the end, we will all stand together and sing, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. If you can't stand up or you don't really want to come up here, but you still want to be part of the pageant, raise your hand and we'll have one of the kids bring a prop to you. So let the pageant begin. We're going to sing A Little Town of Bethlehem and every Mary and Joseph, please come forward. Joseph, a pitiful sight, so tired and dirty, they gave me a fright. Sickly or dying, what was the matter? A room in the inn? Impossible chatter. My rooms were all taken, not one empty bed. There'll not be a room in Bethlehem, I said, but their eyes told a story of hunger and need. I couldn't avoid them, so I tried a good deed. I cleaned up the stable, Rachel cooked up a meal. We helped all we could, at least that's how I feel. For we noticed that Mary was expecting, and soon, so we prepared for delivery right under the moon. The child came so quickly, his face seemed alight, as if God had shown God's presence so bright. Joseph said softly, it's Jesus, my friend. God sent him among us to bring an end to fear and hatred, darkness, and sin. Instead, God gave light to let God's love in. Now we're going to sing Away in the Manger and any animals can come forward.
My animals were calm, quieter than normal. They often were noisy and never too formal. They always were eating or else they were sleeping. The stable required continuous sweeping. But on Christmas night, they were strangely in awe at the sight of the babe and all that they saw. It was if they were aware that God had just hushed them, had fed and watered and carefully brushed them. They knew, I believe, that God had been able to work a miracle there in that stable. Now we're going to sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So if you'd like to be an angel, please come forward. We don't often see angels in flight, but on this first Christmas, they lit up the night. They appeared to the shepherds, and boy, were they scared. Angels, cried one, will, our, will any lives be spared? Are they here to destroy us? Is our time up on earth? Have we seen our last day? Have we drunk our last cup? But peace on earth, goodwill to all, was the angels' sweet song, that was their call. With a light show and a da a, that dazzled all who did see, the angels hallelujah and sang out with glee. To Bethlehem, shepherds, the, angel, the angels directed, to see Jesus the Christ, whom God has perfected. Go worship the Lord and follow his ways, and you'll find Christmas joy for all of your days. So now we'd like to invite all the shepherds to come forward as we sing Go Tell It on the Mountain.
shepherds, I told you, were scared and stunned. Too much hard work or too much hot sun. That's what they thought. That's how they explained. Perplexed, perplexed and afraid, they loudly complained. But the angel's song calmed them, and then they believed. They rejoiced when they knew that they were quite, and they were quite relieved. They went to the stable and worshiped the Lord. Then they left and began to spread the good word. All right, now we are going to sing We Three Kings, and we'd like to invite any kings or queens that would like to come forward. The star that shone brightly led wise men at night to Bethlehem's stable, to the manger's strange light. They came bearing gifts in worship and love, praising God for God's wonders from heaven above. The wise men were kings, and they knelt on my straw. It was the oddest thing that I ever saw. If the kings bring him treasure, then maybe you too can worship with pleasure the person of Jesus who came to us all. So worthy of praise, for he brings us God's call. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come to God for healing from strife. Come unto me, all who labor, and I will give you rest forever to savor. T'was the very, t'was the very first Christmas, and there in the manger, the, child, the Christ child was born. It couldn't have been stranger. Shepherds saw angels, wise men a star. They came to see Jesus. They came from afar. They knew he was special, God's very own son. He came to the earth to love everyone. He grew up in time, the Savior, the Lord, to be worshipped each day, to be loved and adored. So now at Christmas, we all take delight in the gift that God gave us that first Christmas night. In the gifts we receive and the ones that we give, let us never forget it, it's in Christ that we live. So now we all are going to sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas. That is the end of our pageant, but we want to say thank you to everybody that participated. That was amazing. Thank you guys so much. You guys did awesome. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, wait. Kids, stay right here. All the kids, stay right here. Oh, yeah, talk into the microphone. Good morning, everybody. You kids did a great job, a very great job. Uh, the two little girls, um, um, what's, your, what's their names? Uh, uh, yes, this is for you, uh, that's for you, and that's for you, that lights up. And for the bigger ones, you're going to get a little envelope. I'm pretty sure you have banks at home, I do, I still have a bank at home. I put quarters in, I put dimes in and everything, then it gets to a month. Then I, you know, I count them up and take it to the bank. All right, this is for you. This is for you. For you. I hope I have enough here. This is for you. Uh, come, come. Uh. <laughs> okay. I, I. Did everybody come up here, uh, please? Yes. Okay. 
Here you go. Okay, here you go. Did you get one, dear? Okay, here you go. Did everybody have one? All right, guys, make sure you say thank you very much. No, that's okay. This is from the First Memorial Presbyterian Church. We don't have, well, that's okay. You guys did a great job. God bless you all. Thank you. We didn't like that. <laughs> it's coming off. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> we are grateful to have all of you with us as we worship together on this third Sunday in Advent. And we hope you will be stewardship partners with us in our ministry here and around the world as you have been partners with us in our worship, whether here in our sanctuary or somewhere safe or convenient to you on your computer. If you worshiped with us on your computer and are able and willing, we invite you to mail an offering to our church to participate in our outreach and mission. The address, of course, is 51 West Blackwell Street in Dover. At this time of year, the abundance of some and the needs of so many stand in marked contrast. As we make our offerings this week, May Christ's heart rejoice and the needs of others be tended. May there be joy. Let us pray together. Gracious God, teach us to give thanks in all circumstances, for you are always with us. Thank you for the privilege of sharing what we have with others, of giving ourselves away in love, and of receiving the gifts that others share with us. With our whole being, spirit, soul, and body, we rejoice in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Merry Christmas. This greeting comes from Eloise Althoff, one of our members, wishing you the blessings of peace, love, and joy this Christmas and always. This week's birthdays are Samantha Conrad and Carol Gratikos. Continue to pray for our Operation Christmas boxes as they're on their way to their destinations. I'm sure they'll be arriving there this week. Reminder that we have services here every Sunday at 10 a.m. And our Christmas Eve service will be at 6 p.m. on next Sunday because that is Christmas Eve. And in January, the second Sunday of January, we will be starting to meet in the chapel. It'll be a little bit warmer in there. Asking for additional prayers this week for Cindy Romaine's sister, Nancy, who had an operation on Friday to remove a brain tumor. So we are wishing her well in her recovery. We pray for everyone, including Dora, Gina, Dawn, Hunter, Kendra, Mary, Karen, Wayne, Shirley, Kim, Irene, Sandy, Sonia, Gregory, Madison, Hildegard, Sean, Lily, Nishabi, Larry, Tiffany, RJ, Benjamin, Lauren, Barbara, Karen, John, Henry, Stephen, Dominic, Kathy, Bill, Joey, Stan, Julie, and Helen. If you want to be on our prayer list, we uh, invite you to send us a uh, Facebook message or call the church. Thank you. We believe, so we pray. Holy God and Father of us all, our minds are filled to overflowing with all that is going on in our lives and in our world especially at this time in history, and especially at this time of the year, any year. We face weather which takes the form of catastrophes, wars where innocent civilians on both sides bear the brunt of the cost, while politicians get away with murder. At the same time, we are prone to gripe and complain about the high cost of the most comfortable lifestyle in history, lifestyles which we currently enjoy living without much reflection or gratitude for them because we actually believe we're entitled to live this well, if not better. As such, Christmas time is a difficult time for a lot of people. We have our Scrooges and our Grinches, and we have people who carry so much sadness about it, so many painful memories, that they celebrate something called Blue Christmas. But we are grateful for everyone who made Christmas time a wonderful time for us in days gone by. Family and friends who gave us such warm memories that we still hold good ones deep in our hearts. Fortunately, we also have some people we never knew who have blessed us with their thoughts and feelings which have become traditions for us, like George Frederick Handel's 1741 oratorio, The Messiah or Charles Dickens' 1843 newspaper serial, A Christmas Carol, and Frank Capra's 1946 film, It's a Wonderful Life. All inspired by your scriptures, they have created warm memories for us. Everything is there, isn't it, Lord? What's really important about Christmas time is in there, in that book of yours. Please keep our minds grounded in the genesis of the meaning of Christmas time and away from the meaning Macy's and Walmart and Amazon are literally 
and figuratively selling in its place. And may our children and grandchildren, friends and neighbors, find a faith-filled message in our celebration of this holiday season. May the poor and the sick and the unemployed find spiritual sustenance in our messages of peace on earth, goodwill toward everyone. Even as we continue to ground our praying in the prayer for all times, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our parting hymn this morning is number 30, Born in the Night, Mary's Child, 3-0. Thank you for being here this morning. Now I charge you, always rejoice, pray without ceasing, witness to the light of Christ, so that all might believe through him. And let us all be found ready and expected when that time comes. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Amen. Please be seated for a moment of reflection. <clears throat> 